In this video, I'll show you how to convert a standard tap to hands-free operation using commonly available irrigation and plumbing components. This project is great because it's an accessible and low cost method of avoiding the need to touch surfaces when washing your hands through the use of a simple foot switch and low voltage solenoid valve. It's suitable for dirty or contagion prone environments, as well as a solution for those with limited wrist mobility. This project requires no plumbing knowledge and minimal electronics knowledge, so let's get started. The heart of this project is the solenoid valve. This one was from Bunnings, a hardware store here in Australia, but I've put links in the description to many others I think will be suitable. It's rated for 24 volts AC, but I've had no issues opening the coil at 12 volts DC. You'll also need to adapt from the thread where your tap faucet would normally seat, which is most likely a half inch BSP thread. Here's a little chart to help you clarify the somewhat terrible naming conventions used for plumbing and irrigation parts, and between the two, they're largely interchangeable. I'll be fitting mine to a wall mounted tap like you'll generally find in laundries, which is the easiest option. You can also do the same for countertop taps. However, keep in mind you'll need quite different hardware and adapters to make this work. These are all the parts you'll need to recreate my setup. Feel free to adapt what you can find. And if you do venture to a hardware store to piece your system together, please take necessary precautions. Mains water pressure is also surprisingly high. So also grab some thread tape to help seal against leaks. Brass fittings would have been better in my opinion for a long-term solution, but plastic is all I can get hold of, and it'll last long enough for most cases. To control the valve, I'll be using a 12 volt DC adapter. This allows me to keep any dangerous voltages far from any wet areas, and if you don't have access to a power outlet nearby, you can also use a large 12 to 24 volt battery. You'll also need some wire to go between the tap and the foot switch on the floor. Longer is better here, so you can easily route it out of the way. Nice to have tools are a soldering iron to make connections, drill or drill press and jigsaw to make the foot switch and a hot glue gun to secure the wires and plug. In order to turn the tap on and off without touching it, I used a basic foot pedal switch. There are many approaches to making one of these or just buying one, but the key here is durability and simplicity. The valve doesn't draw much current at all in my testing under 400 milliamps, so I went with an arcade button. Arcade buttons are designed for abuse and articulate a small micro switch which should handle the current we're using quite fine. The most simple switch I came up with makes use of some wood with a 25 millimeter hole bored through the middle and a small hole from the side for the wires to exit. You simply seat the arcade switch into place and run the wires out the side. I used a salvage DC jack for my 12 volt adapter, but you can simply twist wires together if required and be sure to insulate all connections with tape or ideally heat shrink. To adapt from a wall mounted spigot, I use a 12 inch to 3 quarter inch adapter, which I then threaded into a 3 quarter inch female coupler. If you can get a brass version of this coupler, I would as it felt a little flimsy. The valve was then tightened into place, making sure the arrow faces the direction of water flow. Twisting into place will twist the wires a little, but they're very long, so it's not much to worry about. Because we're replacing the tap entirely, I used a 3 quarter elbow joint and end cap for the outlet. You don't strictly need the end cap, however it does a great job of improving and concentrating the flow. I drilled several 1.5mm holes in the end cap to create an effect similar to a miniature shower head, and it worked really well. Once everything is in place, turn the tap on and check for leaks. There should be none. If there are, consider redoing the tape in some areas or screwing tighter. You can set the water pressure and even temperature using the tap handles and then leave them in place, leaving the solenoid valve to do all the work when needed. I did find at higher pressures my cold water tap washer was dripping slightly, so very worn tap heads may need fresh washers to contain the new pressure. There are many ways you could improve on this project. This is by far the simplest approach. Ideally, a small relay should be used to handle the current from the solenoid instead of just the switch to greatly improve its life. Secondly, if you have access to a 3D printer, you can try to 3D print this foot switch design by Adafruit, which is easier to use and seals the electronics better and should be longer lasting. Finally, you might want to consider expanding the system to allow for hands-free soap dispensing, something I intend to look into in future. I truly hope this video helps you and all links to parts used are in the description below. Thanks for watching, bye.